And before we get to the world weather forecast, we want to introduce you to a hardy bunch of children. Well, the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has to juggle two huge tasks this year, mostly elementary and junior high school students. One of them to continue cooling the damaged reactors, and the other is to start preparing for decommissioning. The children wore karate uniforms and were barefoot. The Japanese government said two weeks ago that the reactors had reached a state of cold shutdown, and that is an important step in bringing the plants under control. They started the day's session by sitting up straight on rocks along the Arakawa River to concentrate. The government and Tokyo Electric released a work schedule showing that decommissioning may take up to 40 years. Then they practiced punches and kicks as well as sparring moves. Tokyo Electric plans to develop technology for decontaminating the inside of the reactor buildings and repairing the containment vessels. The practice concluded after trainers and older children waded knee-deep into the river to demonstrate karate moves. It also needs to remove fuel that's believed to have melted and fallen into the containment vessels. It was cold, but it made me feel motivated. Now, another task is removing debris from the number four reactor building, which was damaged by an explosion. Tokyo Electric needs to get the debris out of the way so it can start removing the spent nuclear fuel. I've never knocked down an opponent, so I want to score my first win. The challenges for Tokyo Electric also include keeping the reactors cool and dealing with contaminated cooling water. The company plans to have the length of four kilometers of piping it also plans to install a new facility to remove radioactive strontium from wastewater. About 60 participants took part in the annual ritual. Sir. 